Roman Catholic heathens. <laughs> uh, interesting video I saw yesterday about the Wend people. W-E-N-D. They were sort of a Slavic slash Scandinavian people. Um, actually, actually very similar to the Vikings. And uh, not just another Nordic tribe, but they were actually feared by a lot of the Vikings um, because they were very fierce people. And um, just kind of an interesting thing because... Uh, whatever happened to them? Well, they were assimilated by Roman Catholicism. The Crusades came up in there and, and uh, they conquered the Wend people. But uh, a lot of them, just like the Vikings, they realized that they could basically work the system. The Crusaders came up in, you know, you will convert to Catholicism. And some fought and some died, said, no, we're not converting. Others said, okay, what do we have to do? Well, just have to come to Mass and you have to, you know, become official Catholics and be baptized. We'll sprinkle some water on you or something. And there you go. You're in. And these people, they would do that. And then when the Catholic priest went away, it was kind of, okay, he's gone. He's, yeah, he's gone. All right, let's get back to our heathen practices. You know, and uh, ironically, uh, that's what most Roman Catholics are to this very day. Um, we like to jokingly call them Christer Catholics. In other words, they're Catholic on Christmas and Easter. That's when they go to church, in other words. And they get into Roman Catholicism for the, you know, the rites of marriage and, and you know, funeral type of stuff, being buried in a good Catholic cemetery, and they have the business connections of being a faithful Catholic. Um, but in terms of being very devout and reading the catechism and everything else, they're not for one second. They're just heathen. Um, you know, there are Catholics that are out there that do try to do right, that do try to... Um, live by the catechism and whatever else. I mean, you read the catechism, there's some things in there that I would agree with in terms of morality. Uh, I don't agree with the core doctrines of Catholicism. I, I'm very much against that. But the whole point is, the catechism says you should abstain from certain things that are sinful. Uh, I would agree. Um, <clears throat> but the problem is that Catholicism, what had created, you know, over a thousand years ago with a lot of these heathen tribes they basically just said you know you can be catholic in name only you just in practice you can continue to be heathen we don't care because it's a political movement again what is catholicism catholicism is the ancient roman empire morphing into a religious system and going out and conquering the lands that they wanted to conquer and taking over the whole world uh, under the banner of christianity and I get so perturbed with people. In this documentary I saw yesterday, um, <clears throat> while doing other work, I'll, I'll play something on my other monitor. I have two monitors, and I watch a documentary here while I'm doing other work with, um, you know, getting things worked out for the website and whatever else. And this documentary, they were talking about how Christianity conquered the Wend people. No, it didn't. Okay? Christianity, New, New Testament Christianity does, doesn't conquer anything. True biblical New Testament Christianity is believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Here are the things that are laid out for you in Scripture, but your culture and your people and whatever, your customs and your ways, as long as it doesn't contradict the Scriptures, you go ahead and you do it. Um, but live according to the Scriptures. You know, you clean up your speech, you don't go out and you get drunk, you don't fornicate, you, you know, there's things like that. And so a Bible-believing Christian will follow the New Testament like that. But they won't give up their culture. But these people, um, the heathen that I've met, a lot of these, you know, most Roman Catholic men I've ever met, um, they're still very much heathen. And they still have a lot of very heathen practices and heathen ways about them. And so I just, I find that ironic that um, what they were doing back then where they would say, okay, we'll convert to Catholicism, but when the Catholic priest isn't looking, we'll just kind of do our own thing. And uh, that's what they still do today. <laughs> uh, so Roman Catholicism is a political movement. That's why during the pandemic, most of the you know, practices and things like that, you know, you have to go to mass, it was all just stopped. Oh uh, yeah, we can't do that now. You know, They just set aside their religious beliefs because we have political agendas and whatever else. The interdict that was passed back then um, and I can put a link at the end of this to that uh, video. 
um, <clears throat> that interdict that was done, um, it just kind of sets aside the whole Catholic system. So, just crazy. But I uh, just wanted to make a quick video on that. Just I thought that was so interesting that these Catholics, these heathen, um, they're still doing the same thing that they did when they were conquered originally back a thousand years ago. You know, we'll be Catholic. Well, what what do we have to do here? Oh, go to Christmas Mass and Easter Mass. Okay, yeah, and do the right things and we'll, we'll clean up our speech for that time and whatever. But the rest of Catholic practices, they just go, eh, whatever. I don't have time for that. Um, but, you know, just thought that was kind of a unique thing there. So uh, tell me what you think about that in the comments section below. We'll see you in the next video.